Hey everyone, it's John. It's uh, Wednesday, I'm on my way home from work. I uh, just wanted to do a little vlog video, I haven't done one in a while, so I uh, thought I would uh, apprise you of all my situations going on. Uh, I uh, wanted to thank everyone that watched my uh, Ford Fiesta audition video. Um, basically, uh, I had a lot of questions on what that's about. So I thought I would just um, bring you up to speed on that. Basically, it's uh, the program's called the uh, Ford Fiesta Movement. Um, it's kind of a, a social networking uh, marketing type situation where they um, they pick a hundred uh, people. They call them agents to uh, participate in this Fiesta Movement, and uh, the people they're picking are all you know. Uh, socially connected either through YouTube or Twitter or Facebook or you know all those social networks uh, and uh, so they're picking a hundred people to basically drive Ford Fiestas for a while I'm not sure what the time period is um, but they'll be driving the Ford Fiestas and blogging about them and also participating in some monthly activities that um, I assume are like uh, road rally type type things um, they're like missions they call them um, so you know I'm looking forward to you know I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna get picked there's um, I'm sure thousands of applicants and they're only picking a hundred so I don't know what my chances are but you know I had to at least give it a try I mean <clears throat> if nothing else it was just a uh, you know what it cost me the time to make one video so um, but you know why not I, got a, I guess I got as much chance as anybody, right? Um, I did look at some other Fiesta Movement audition videos on YouTube, and some of them are very, very good, very high quality. <clears throat> um, I guess in the YouTube game, game I'm kind of, I'm kind of new, you know. I mean, I've only been blogging for probably six months or a little bit more than that. And, you know, some of these people have thousand-dollar cameras, and I'm using my phone, so. Might be at a little bit of a disadvantage, but you know, at the same time, uh, you know, I've got a lot to bring to the table, so well, hopefully they pick me. But, anyways, yeah, the uh, the uh, submissions were due April 1st, so I uh, kind of did it last minute, but um, got my submission in, and uh, Ford gave me, uh, you know, a little uh, note to let me know that they received my submission and I'm in the running, so see how that goes. Um, I kind of started tweeting again. You know, I haven't tweeted, in, you know, reliably for a while. And uh, so, you know, if nothing else good comes of it, at least I'll be tweeting again. Some of you guys probably don't even know what that means, but, well, anyways, I find it fun. Um, and my friend Trish, if you're watching, she's, uh, she's very Twitter-connected, and that's actually one of the best ways for me to keep up with her, what's going on with her, so... Um, Kind of excited about that, but um, so that's the good stuff going on. Uh, the bad stuff. Um, when I did my uh, my tile work a couple weeks ago, um, <laughs> people are driving by me probably thinking I'm nuts. When I did my uh, tile work a couple weeks ago, I uh, I injured my back. Uh, I have uh, a condition. I have a uh, bulging disc in my lower back that causes nerve impingement, they call it, which basically means, um, you know, you've got these uh, discs, they're like, they're kind of like, um, the uh, the doctor explained it to me as being like, like a, if you've ever seen a breast implant, those little silicon bags, so, well, it, uh, a disc is thicker, walled than that, but it's basically like a jelly-walled kind of thing with liquid on the inside and it, it goes between all of your spine plates and you know lubricates the uh it's the acts as a joint and you know uh allows your spine to bend but um mine uh has a bulge in it and the bulge uh, bulges out on my right side and it uh pushes on my um <clears throat> my spinal cord which is a bad thing and it's actually pretty common um, 
but you know, I'm not interested in surgery or anything. The doctor said that's not really even for what I, for the relatively minor issue that I have, um, that's not really even an option. So it's not like I'm considering that. But you know, this is the second time that it has kind of reared its ugly head and caused me a lot of pain and discomfort. Um, the pain is, it's like, um, it's like I got a knife in my butt and uh, surrounded by like a lot of just dull pain um, and uh, it will probably go away with some time I'm doing some stretches and some exercises that are supposed to help me out with that um, there are stretches and exercises that I got from physical therapy when I had the last uh, episode if you will so um, yeah I'm kind of fighting through that right now I, I, I don't expect it's going to bother me hopefully not too much longer but you know when you're working and got kids it's tough to take the time to heal and healing for me means um, keeping my back in the perfect uh, you know angle you know your lower back is supposed to angle forward towards your stomach and um, I've always had a problem with that a little bit of a curvature to my spine where it's kind of straighter than it's supposed to be and that's what causes the problem and with the disc so I've always had bad posture and this forces me to have really good posture or try to have good posture and it's always something I've been bad at. Maybe that new uh, Fiesta will have uh, good lumbar support for it if you're listening. But um, hopefully that won't bother me for more than, you know, a little longer. It's been about two, two plus, two and a half, a little over two weeks. So it's, uh, it's starting to wear on me, if you know what I mean. Um, and the real bummer is it's supposed to be nice weather later this week and I was hoping to get out into the barn for the first time in over a month and work on my car but if this you know I, my first priority right now has to be to maintain good posture do my stretches my exercises you know and rest and drink a lot of water and try to get rid of this stupid back problem that I'm having um, I know I can do it I've done it before once so just a matter of time and work my way through it uh, I watched Darren's video today where he uh, had to get an epidural on his back and boy that's rough buddy uh, I hope I don't ever have to deal with that but I tell you one thing I need to do is lose that weight it'll help a lot Got a lot of weight that uh, you know it sits on my front and it weighs me down and forces me into bad posture and oh did you see the goatee I didn't even mention that so anyway spring break for the kids this week um, and hopefully I'm uh, gonna be feeling better soon I'm gonna try um, thanks for watching guys that's it for today I'm almost home so uh, wish me luck on the Ford thing and uh, thanks for watching uh, commenting and subscribing and y'all have a good Wednesday and uh, See you later. Bye.